And so this was during football season. I was instead watching Monday Night Football. So I got a text from Rick, and he says, Jesus, can you believe it? Or something like that. It was about a raw storyline. And I was like, ah, they'll come back. And he called, and he said, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, this Jets gamer, whatever. They're going to come back. I mean, the spread on this is so-and-so. And he starts laughing. He's like, no, I mean, Monday Night Raw. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not watching that shit. And he said, wow. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. So then the next day, he says, I got to tell you, I was just blown away by our call last night. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, God damn, if Conrad Thompson ain't watching Raw, imagine how many other motherfuckers aren't. Like, as hardcore of a wrestling fan as I know you are, if if they've lost you, fuck. I was right. like, wow, I didn't think about that. He's like, dude, you're one of the biggest wrestling fans I know. And if we can somehow turn you off. But, you know, like, look at what we're what we're opening with. And yeah. I don't mean that to be ugly, but I was a Mikey Whipwreck fan because of ECW. But I don't care about this. No. And not only that, who the fuck is Chase Tatum? Thank you. Not only I, I'm saying that here 20 years later, I have no mem I have no memory of Chase Tatum. When he walked in, I said, as you're talking, he walked in before they showed the video font, which by the way, they showed it correctly. I'm thinking, is this Alex Wright on, on the gas? Well, so here's what, here's what happens. Okay. Uh, he wins uh, Mr. Georgia in a bodybuilding competition. He's like 19 years old. Okay. And you guys just can't wait to jack him off. Uh, so he starts his career sort of as a enhancement talent for you guys on TV. Yeah. And, uh, he's like putting over oh. Scott oh. Norton on Saturday night. And then here's where you'll remember him. He's a member of the no limit soldiers with master P. Oh, uh. no, I don't mean that he was from that. I'm just saying this was a way for WCW to sort of slide him in uh -huh. and let's give him something to do. And. He would have some matches on Thunder and Nitro, but here's what's what's bad. Like he's been an enhancement talent, and they're trying to change that, right? Yeah, they're gonna open this episode of Nitro, the one we're watching right now, with him going uh, up against Mikey Whipwreck, who, by the way, everyone in the history of wrestling would say was quote unquote a good hand, a very talented, capable in ring performer. Someone who is reliable, someone who Arn Anderson would call a carpenter could make you look good. And yeah. you didn't have to be good. Mikey was good enough for both of you. Yeah. You guys are going to open this episode of Nitro with a goddamn draw. Well, and, well go. it's, it, it's a sit angle. It's a sit right? angle. Yeah. Here he so, is here. And, and the fan, the fans are into this one. How about that power bomb? Sid don't give a shit about nothing. No, 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 no. What, what, Ch Charles, Char what's this? Uh, oh, okay. I got it. Yeah, this was, this was a pretty good idea. Charles a little stooge back there then, wasn't he? Um, uh, this was a pretty good idea of making Sid uh, into a, a monster. No, I no, mean, listen, he, I don't hate it. And by the way, the concept here is we're ripping off Goldberg streak, right? So. Uh, he's the, you know, the, the millennium man and blah, blah, blah. Cause you gotta remember that's all anybody's talking about here is we're almost to 2000 and Y2K and blah, blah, blah. Right. I like this presentation, but I still, and I know that this is, you know, I, a lot of people are going to say, oh, well that would get old too. And I know I'm in the minority. Every fucking nitro should start with a Lucha match. Like the first match, give me some motherfuckers in masks doing all kinds of crazy shit real fast. That's how I want every single nitro to start. Because even if I'm not in the mood for the creative, if I'm like, oh, this is fucking lame, which a lot of times wrestling angles are right. I'm not going to be critical of motherfuckers just going balls to the wall. And I grew up on nitro when it was Hoovy and Ray Mysterio and Dean Malenko and Chris Jericho and Chris Benoit and Andy Guerrero. If those guys are in the first match, shit, I'm in. 
but if he, if he turned me off with this fucking Sid promo and don't get me wrong, this may have been good. We're talking over it. It's a guarantee that it's going to be good. In other words, you should probably put this on second. I mean, it's somewhere in the show. So I'm not yeah. even saying second, third, fourth, fifth, top of the hour. I mean, this is this is a good segment because I really enjoy almost anything Sid ever did. Uh, but yeah, I would have not opened with this. By the way, we should mention that Chase Tatum's no longer with us. He, uh, like many others, died of an accidental drug overdose, and he had grown addicted to uh, painkillers. I guess that came from uh, a back problem that he developed here in wrestling, even after. Yeah. You know, his wrestling career lasted less than two years, but here come the painkillers and there you go. And that was a long time ago too. He died in 08. That is, that's a shame. Yeah. Only 34 years old when we lost him. 